Hello, and welcome back to VGM, everybody. Hello, cuties. Right. Taco got pizza. You got pizza? I have pizza. I, I had pizza, too. What a coinky dink. Taco's had pizza for, like, the last two days, so... <laughs> <laughs> I had it just today. Actually, it's it's sort of a lie, but sort of not. It's like, wait, my parents had pizza for dinner last. They ordered pizza last night for dinner. I had pizza for lunch before that, and then today it was leftovers because I was not gonna eat salmon. So you're not gonna eat the salmon. I'm not a fan of salmon. I'm just not. I love salmon. What? I love. Salmon. I used to. It makes me sad. It makes me very sad because, like, I used to love freaking. I used to love salmon at one point, and then and then I tried it, and I was like, I don't like it. Ugh, it made me so sad. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I love all seafood. If it swims in the sea, it was meant for me to eat it. <laughs> and you see, chat. This is why, uh, you know, taco taco is not a fish. You are not a fish. Remind yourself of that when you get hiccups. I'm not a fish. <laughs> I don't know why that works, but it works. For everybody listening, pro tip for you. If you have the hiccups, remind yourself you're not a fish and the hiccups will go away. I don't know how the fuck it works, but I can tell you it fucking works. And it well, then. blows my I'll mind. Next time I have hiccups, I'll have to try it. Mm. I do it. I've gotten my own mother to do it, and it works for her, too. It, I don't know why. It just works. <laughs> they, people all the time, like, oh, uh, scare yourself or hold your breath. Uh, hiccups will go away. No. Remind yourself that you're not a fish. And they'll go away. <laughs> Anyways, speaking, Damien here has a... Um... Speaking of fish, Damien here has been awfully fishy. Uh, acting uh, like, like uh, little scary pants in a horror movie. Despite I think it's been a minute. Daddy. <laughs> I was going to say, China, I think it's been a minute. <laughs> yeah, it's been a minute. <laughs> I mean, okay. Just I've said fuck already. Well, fuck. <laughs> I right, when and where? Uh. <laughs> Hopefully on this stroll that we're about to go on. On this stroll. <laughs> I don't know. If they, I don't know if they went that far. I don't know. Uh, this was uh, Mark Adult on Steam, so it, I, I'm kind of worried. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Was it real? So, uh, I'm curious now. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of worried if something does or doesn't get shown. I hope you're quick on those uh, transition screens, man. Uh, yeah. Just, just saying. I mean, if anyway. we can bend off Twitch, I will just record off of Twitch and then just stick to YouTube. Screw it. I, I'll use okay. the I'll use the extra time to, uh. Make shorts or something. Who knows? Anyways. I say extra time, but there won't actually be extra time. We'll still be recording the episode. It's just not on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, it just won't be live. <clears throat> and all of you will be sad. Uh, Damien is making a point of not telling me where he's taking me. Kind of, kind of suspicious. Like we're going to some cult meeting or something, and I'm about to get sacrificed in a ring of candles on top of a pentagram. Still, I'm enjoying the walk and the cool night air. Being alone with Damien is a lot better than being in a crowded theater. In the dark, where no one could see us giving each other hot handies. <laughs> lovely night, isn't it? <laughs> Gosh dang it. As lovely as the company, yes. Aw, he thinks your company's lovely. He thinks I'm lovely? Uh. Oh gosh, I'm reading. Uh, I'm predicting the game. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, you uh, you think I'm lovely? Uh, um, 
I would have never Profuse said that before. Sweats profusely. <laughs> You're just sweating bullets, just buckets pouring off of your face. Damn. Okay. Uh, here comes the smooth response. Uh, 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 uh cool. Nice. <laughs> Crushed it. <laughs> hey, this is just like me and Taco flirting. <laughs> Crushed it. <laughs> Nailed it. Wait, wait, wait. Do we flirt? What? what? <laughs> I'm sure you flirted at some point in your life. I've seen it. We have flirted. <laughs> I, you know, I guess. Just two friends flirting. You know. Making out as friends. Giving each other hot blowies as friends. <laughs> you know, stuff that friends do. Just normal, fr normal just friend normal, stuff. Just normal friend things. Just, yeah. <laughs> we both stand there feeling a little awkward. I sure am one smooth bring... operator. <laughs> I'll bring up something else. I'll bring up something later, probably when we get to uh, different recording videos, um, to different things that we're doing at the moment. Anyway. Anyway. Are you getting a little hungry? We could maybe stop off and grab something to eat. <sighs> Worry not, friend. I have a plan. Oh, he has a plan. We turn the corner and greeted by the gates of a cemetery? What? Are we going in there? Hmm. Absolutely. A little bit of Victorian flavor splurt. Trust me. Hell, yes. Day graveyard at night. Hey. Yeah. Candlelit picnic in the graveyard at night. Count me Which, in. I'm going to be I'm gonna be absolutely honest. Technically, by technicality, um, graveyards are supposed to be closed after sunset. Technically, right. but you don't want to disturb the ghosts. I guess Taco's been in them, though. <laughs> I've been in them. I got one right You're here in town. It's bad. a it's a very small cemetery, probably you know, only a few dozen graves, but. Yeah. But yeah. Anyways. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Hot central times in the the cemetery, you know. Yeah. I'm a bit nervous, but Damien hasn't led me wrong yet. I follow his lead as we walk into the cemetery. I love. Can I can I just mention again that I love the dynamic that <laughs> we have Goth Daddy here, and then we have Sport. He's wearing a Danny sex bang leotard. <laughs> leotard. <laughs> and has Goku hair. <laughs> the, der the derpy face with the tongue out. <laughs> Statues of angels stare down at us as we follow a path through the faded tombstones. As we crest a small hill, we get a beautiful view of the city. The night lights sparkle around us. I gotta hand it to him for being a cemetery. This is strangely romantic. Romantic? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Picnicking in graveyards is an old Victorian tradition. Is it? <laughs> I've never heard of this, but I'm um, sure. Neither okay. have I, but I'm not super into the Victorian era, so who knows? Time. An appropriate finish to an evening after a vampire movie, wouldn't you say? With a flourish, Damien produces a blanket and a picnic basket. Yeah. I'm Where were you keeping that? that? We don't... Uh, his cape. The picnic cat with basket. Wait, where know. were you hiding that? I don't know where he's hiding the picnic basket, but the, uh, the, uh, the, the blanket probably was under his cape. Or part of it. But where was the basket? I don't know where the basket was. I don't have an answer for you. I'm so sorry. I was also going to what, say... What video game logic? Like, uh, I just pulled the dots with me back. And... Yep, absolutely. I, no question it, Dragon Oath. I just pulled out this three-foot bazooka for my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of some animes. <laughs> out of my 
one by one backpack. I was gonna say, like, for, speaking of guns, it was, was gonna be like, if Taco and Damien were to talk, it would be a very, very interesting conversation about guns. <laughs> Victorian Taco, era guns. Victorian era specifically, and all those firearms. Because there were a lot of firearms in that era. Holy crap. Because again, that era spans like most of a hundred years. And a hundred years is a long ass time. It is a long time. Most people don't even live for a hundred years. Because like it starts in like the eighteen, like eighteen fifteen. Officially, like officially, like it's like eighteen fifteen or eighteen twenty when Victorian era starts, and then it, it doesn't end until like the start of World War One. Yeah. Which, in that span, in that span, a lot has happened. Not just in firearms technology, but also like the American Civil War happened within five years. In the middle of it, and freaking the we, for American history, after that, immediately after that, we've transitioned into the Wild West, and that spans for about yeah. the rest of this the century. Yeah, fair. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of history that happened in that short amount of time. There's a lot. Huh. Germany re- reunited itself with thanks to the, with the help of a uh, one of the first bolt action rifles. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Under my cloak? Uh, oh, of- right. But you were carrying that the whole time? Where under your cloak? Like, where was it during the movie? Were you just yeah, sitting on it? Were you, were you sit, carrying it the entire time? Were you sitting on it? Like, you just pulled you know, out a whole ass picnic basket. <laughs> hey, boo boo, what's in that picnic basket? <laughs> Gee, Yogi. I don't know. I haven't looked in it yet. Well, what are we waiting for, boo-boo? The amount of friggin' Yogi Bear jokes I've made when I was in Yellowstone. <laughs> <laughs> As one family. should. <laughs> if you don't make a Yogi Bear reference, did you even go to Yellowstone? Oh, absolutely. Or did you just go to the park? Oh, uh, I was in Yellowstone. You were seeing the pictures. Yes. You saw what happened after you left, too. <laughs> a big geyser did, explosion. Yeah, yeah, glad you weren't there when that happened. Same. Even though, even when it did explode, it probably wouldn't have been there anyway. Probably. I not. would have been on the other side of the park, watching deer, or looking for bears. Cause bears. Hey, boo. <laughs> we saw plenty of black bears. Uh, we saw a few grizzlies. We saw a raspberry herself, actually. So. Uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, you know, resident Raspberry, who is very a fucking grandmother. I mean, what? Yeah, I'm very old. Very old. That's gonna date this episode, but you know, <laughs> a little bit. Anyway. Yeah, yeah maybe. A little, a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> maybe no anyway. one will ever see it by the time it's dated. <laughs> by the time it's dated, like it's. it's 20 years from now, the grandchildren are going to be like, what's the VGM, Dad? And I'm going to be like, uh, uh. uh. Hopefully we're still doing VGM. <laughs> That'd be fun. Yeah, I'd like I, to I would like to that. keep doing it for ever. Yeah, that'd be fun. Do this forever. Mm-hmm. Won't mind it. Damien unfolds the blanket and we both sit down, gazing out at the city lights. He produces a bottle of red wine and a fine selection of cheeses. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, and cheese to go with that wine. And mind you, it's Victorian era wine. So this has probably been aged since then. It's been aging the entire Very time. Very careful. Absolutely. Dude, you're about to have, you're about to partake of some very very vintage wine. <laughs> In the Victorian era, there were no public art galleries, parks, or botanical gardens to speak of. 
once rural graveyards became a more popular alternative to church burials. It became the only place that people could see beautiful plant life and find sculpture. It's true. That it, it, makes sense. This is pretty nice. It can be. Modern cemeteries, especially in the US, are not as pretty. <laughs> in that regard. Just saying. It depends on where you are. Where a taco is? Heck no. Oh. <laughs> I think I, they're a lot nicer, like, further down south, uh, particularly in, like, uh, no, like the older, Texas and older stuff, cemeteries. where they border Mexico, because Mexico does a lot of, like, the angels and statues and stuff. Well, they also they also do, like, they have their whole celebration of the Dia de los Mutos. I said that so wrong, and I apologize. <laughs> They have their, their celebration of the dead. Muertos. Yeah, Muertos. Muertos. I can't roll my R's, okay? I'm sorry. Muertos. <laughs> I don't think the R's rolled in. Uh, not in Muertos. not in that one. Not yeah. in that word. In other words, absolutely. And Taco will fuck it up every time. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten pretty good with rolling my R's because... At one point, I was trying to learn German. I I have no German. I've never had to roll my R's in German. Gosh dang it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> hey, well, a lot of German, I've heard uh, they roll their R's. Might be a regional thing. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I have a question, though. How are you so okay with being in the graveyard, but you had trouble handling a scary movie? Oh, my. I... I wasn't... He sighs deeply. Okay, yes, I was extremely scared by that movie. I was not writing a book about blood magic in my head. <laughs> I just... I've never been good at those. I just find as if... Because of how I look and act, people expect me to love horror films. So I must play the part. Truth be told, I don't know if I have the constitution for them at times. Sam? Damien, I'm so Sam? sorry. If I had known, I would have suggested another move. It's quite alright. I actually did find myself enjoying this one, thanks to your help. <laughs> Graveyards, however. I think there's something rather beautiful about death. Cemeteries are traditionally built away from cities, away from the realm of the living, and it keeps rather separated from it. There have been a lot of superstitions about death, and also freaking, uh, you know, decay is also not good for the general population, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Which is kind of a new the, point the, these days, the because we put our dead in vaults. Sorry, what? Which is kind of a moot point these days because we put our dead in vaults. Nowadays, yeah. For the most it, part. You like old day like in old times, they would like old like like in ancient times uh, before they had figured out stuff, um, they would have they would have to put their dead somewhere and usually they had they were like because of decay, they would end up they figured out that it would be better to just put the cemetery basically out of the city because yeah. you gotta keep people healthy <laughs> plus when the zombies rise up out of the ground you know you get a fair warning before they actually get into the city it's true i mean to be entirely truthful back in those days like especially once you get to like the medieval period zombies aren't really an issue because plate mail <laughs> <laughs> i'm just saying you've ever tried to scratch your way through plate mail or bite through it Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Full also, plate I armor. don't think zombie the idea of zombies existed back then either. No, they had more vampire I'm, stuff. Blood yeah, sucking I'm was pretty more sure of zombies a were myth. invented by James A. Romero. I think they were. They're more of a modern invention. In the ancient times, ancient mythologies. Well, actually, they do have some zombies because traditionally zombies are like thralls of vampires in their dark magic. That's about it. Basically, undead servants for the vampires. Yeah. Zombies weren't really 
popularized until James A. Romero and uh, Night of the Living Dead. Yep. It's, zombies are more of a modern issue, weirdly, which is funny because Kevlar is actually really good armor on. <laughs> <laughs> if you've seen Kentucky Ballistics' video on uh, him using melee weapons against Kevlar, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's basically almost as effective as plate. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> it's it's no joke. Um, the only difference is we don't you're not covered head to toe in Kevlar, so. <laughs> yeah, but really, the head is the only thing you really need to cover. Why? Why is that? Because they go for the brains. Oh yeah, they do want the brains. Well, zombies do. I I don't actually know on that one. It depends on the like. How zombies are replicated it depends entirely on genre and which who who's writing basically. <laughs> and, and then you get like uh, zombies that only want bread, so they go around grains. <laughs> <laughs> You're reminding me of a joke from an uh, old game. Um, I believe they're still around. Freaking Adventure Quest. <laughs> oh yeah, Good old they're still around. RPG. They're still, yeah. I'm pretty sure they're still around. But like, oh, yeah. I remember an old joke they made that freaking zombies love shopping. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> they love to go shopping, man. That's why they take over malls all the time. Just look at Dead Rising. <laughs> they love to shop, man. They gotta have those sweet deals, anyway. <laughs> They also love working so out. Gains. Gains. <laughs> Your jokes, man. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Gotta use some holy wasabi. <laughs> wasabi? I, they don't take spicy very, very good. No, no. It's Pains. not just the beans. The beans. <laughs> it's not just Eddie's uh, wasabi, though. It's freaking holy wasabi. <laughs> <laughs> the holy wasabi. It's holy. <laughs> the holy wasabi. <laughs> Again, another adventure quest joke. I love it. I loved some of those jokes. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Even though most wasabi is an actual wasabi. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's actually horseradish. Oh no. Yeah, anyway. most most American wasabi is not wasabi. It's not made from the wasabi. Anyway, it's made from horseradish. Back, <laughs> back to our lovely topic here of. Uh, Damien in the graveyards. Um. <laughs> to acknowledge death and become comfortable with it, I think, gives us a certain intimate knowledge of ourselves. I mean, he's not entirely wrong from a therapeutic point of view. Um. <laughs> <laughs> to sit amongst generations of those who came before us, to be truly alive in the midst of so much death brings me great comfort. Death helps me appreciate life, to savor every second. Well, that's a that's actually a pretty I think that's actually a pretty healthy way of looking at things. Yeah. Hmm. Kind of nice. I'm not sure. I'm not sure on the um, <laughs> picnics and graveyards thing, but you know. I am. I mean, whatever works, man. <laughs> we sit and enjoy our food and wine. I don't feel scared anymore. Never thought I'd be comfortable sitting alone in the graveyard at night, but I actually feel very peaceful. I was like, dude, you need to go into gra graveyards are fun at night. <laughs> also, friggin' like, again, death has been, death has been a cultural norm for every nation on the planet, and each each culture on on the planet has some sort of holiday or celebration of, or remembrance of the dead in some way or form. Because sometimes several. It's, Sometimes several. <laughs> some some are more specialized than others. Like, what is it? The Spanish, the, the our lovely Mexican friends, uh, <laughs> like Dia Dia de los Motos is, it's. I I don't know the exact history of it and whatnot, but like it is, it is mu as much a celebration of the dead as it is a celebration of life. In fact, it's actually kind of more of a celebration of life. Yeah, honest. a lot of cultures honest. are like that too. I, I, so their freaking their freaking skull art is actually pretty amazing. As much as I do oh, not yeah, like the Spanish really. language, a lot of their color schemes bug the hell out of me. 
admittedly, and that's why I struggled so much in sitting in Spanish class. Because <laughs> I was like, this hurts my brain <laughs> to look at. Ugh. And then in friggin', but like, friggin', like, Dia de los Muertos. That, like, their, their art is really dope looking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was at a funeral before um, where it wasn't. It, it was more like a celebration of a person's life. Not I mean, yeah, you got like that. A, you got that with a lot of death. old. There, there are a lot of old people that do that, dude. And I'm like, you know what? I'm for it at this point. I'm for it. Oh yeah. <laughs> like it was more like a party. It's like they wanted people to, you know, be happy, tell stories, have good food, hang out. Yep. Freaking, freaking religion, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna avoid. I'm gonna avoid going into that subject though. Uh, <laughs> that's, I'll, I'll that's, that's a, definitely a more after healthy after way to like handle death. Oh, absolutely. Death can be very absolutely. hard for a lot of people, especially when it's someone that you've lost that you're extremely close to. It, it should be. It should be a celebration. It's like be happy that they were here, not sad that they were gone. Shut up, man, you know. <laughs> Taco pain. Taco pain. Trust me, I get it. I'll have to share more of it. I'll probably share that stuff after after stream or between or sometime. I don't know. But friggin' yeah. <laughs> Suddenly it doesn't seem like we're alone. Off in the distance, I see a shadowy figure in the trees. It's his son. What is that? Ah. I'm not sure. It noticed us, paralyzed with fear, as it begins lumbering slowly toward us. Its sh shape taking a more animal form, or feral. I look to Damien for help, but he's just as afraid and transfixed as I am. <laughs> I want to scream. It's stuck in my throat. The creature is getting closer, moving faster. Ah. Woof. Ah. Huh. Oh. oh. Huh. It's just a dog. It's a dog. A doggo. Ah. <laughs> Look at that doggo. Look at the doggo. Is that a uh, Frenchie? That is a, such a derpy looking face though. <laughs> <laughs> Deer in the headlights if I've ever seen one. <laughs> As it finally comes into the light, the friendliest, dumbest little Boston Terrier I've ever seen pulls its owner towards us. Oh, it's a Boston Terrier? Oh, they have an owner, too. I didn't realize that was a Boston Terrier. I, I don't know dog dog breeds. Yeah. Though, so. what? Oh. The dog trots over to Damien and sniffs his hands. Damien looks ecstatic. He ruffles the dog's fur happily. <laughs> what a beautiful dog! <laughs> Hey. What a beautiful wedding. We both look up, not expecting to see. Thanks. Oh, Robert! Hey, it's Robert! <coughs> oh, that's the rescue dog. Oh, this must be, yeah, this must be the rescue dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, I gotta do Robert's voice. <laughs> no, yeah, you Jesus. have to do Robert's voice. I'm gonna I have to do refill Robert, my drink though. after this episode. I do love Robert, though. And by the way, you can I can absolutely tell you 100% Robert is conceal carrying. <laughs> I guarantee you. <laughs> he has a conceal carry. What gives you that on idea? his person at all times. <laughs> I just looked at him and went, "Oh yeah, he he is conceal carrying." Absolutely. <laughs> Are you sure that's a gun and he's just not happy to see us? <laughs> Positive. <laughs> Positive. Robert, what are you oh, doing trust me, here though, on he's... this lovely evening? Oh, trust me, he is he is happy to see us. Because if he wasn't... Unencrypteds. <laughs> <laughs> Unencrypteds, <laughs> dude. Hell yeah. Sounds like fun. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I didn't know you had a dog. Hey. Yes, you do. We had lunch. <laughs> yeah, we talked about it at the dinner with the Osobuco and the, the Safarin or whatever it was. Yeah, and the, the amazing food that was the Osobuco. 
Gosh, that was that was actually looking that actually looked pretty good. Up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that uh, I put in the extra effort to edit into the episode and even played around with it a little bit. Like, come on, this is oh, it's not his dog. This isn't my dog. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, I'm tired okay, of wandering in the street. I put a leash <laughs> on her, and now we're walking around this graveyard together. Mm. Hunting cryptids. Hunting cryptids. Yep, absolutely. Dude. Damien and I share a look. Dude, I'm digging this. I am. Mm. Robert, Robert's my kind of guy, dude. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I, w I wonder what cryptids he's hunting for. Dude, that actually sounds like a dope-ass time. I mean, what? <laughs> I guess we'll just have to find out next time on VGM. <gasps> oh, no. It's like you heard my alarm or something. <laughs> just... No. I was about to bring it up. You're just that no. good. You're just that good. You have your own timer running or some shit. <laughs> Absolutely. Plus, you know, you didn't need to tell Taco to... Just get one ready and all that shiz. Hey, anyway, it helps, back. okay? <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>